Okay. Do I just say my name? Yeah, <laughs> just introduce yourself, like, like what, what is all of Okay, I am uh, Gloria. During my day job, I'm actually a teacher. And um, one of the things that I do um, in my job is to make uh, or create uh, youth leadership programs uh, connecting students to the community. I created a social enterprise called um, Barefoot Love. We make custom calligraphy and prints and 100% um, of the profits we donate to different organizations um, that, you know, that, and we sponsor the programs that they have, as well as we do different um, arts programs um, for uh, vulnerable communities. And what we do is we make custom calligraphy and prints and 100% um, of the profits we donate to different organizations um, for um, vulnerable communities. So we do two types of cards. So we print um, cards that I create myself. So here's this one is from our Hong Kong collection. Wow. Um, but and we also do collaboration cards. Uh -huh. And actually, I'm going to tell you a story of one of the collaboration series uh -huh. that we have done in the past. Uh -huh. So if you look, actually, I do um, calligraphy um, on the side. You know, uh -huh. teaching is very tiring and I got into okay. it yeah. Yeah. Um, I got into it to um, just relax and um, one of the things that uh, I do from Barefoot Love is do these collaboration cards so this series is actually called um, Peace of Mind Collaboration mm -hmm. with Kaze a Cameroon artist so I got wow. to um, visit his oh sorry I got to visit his studio mm -hmm. and he started to just share his life story with me and um, at the time that I met him, um, he was conducting a art show, mm -hmm. and the theme was against uh, discrimination. Um, mm -hmm. As I got to know more about him, I found out that he's actually an asylum seeker um, in Hong Kong who is fleeing persecution in um, Cameroon. And he's also actually been in Hong Kong for probably around like nine or ten years. Um, because Hong Kong doesn't really accept refugees to settle. I think they, they go in and apply for status uh, from the UN and often it's a big waiting game. And in that time, they're not allowed to um, have a job. Um, they're not, they don't have a Hong Kong ID card. And they're often waiting in Hong Kong to be placed or to be processed for upwards to like 10 to 20 years. Um, and during that time, get funding or get uh, sponsorship and support and community from different um, charity organizations, charities like um, the Justice Center or um, the Vine Church or just different um, organizations. And um, I started to kind of want to uh, help more as I heard his story and met his family. Um, he also um, had three kids um, living in Hong Kong. So here's um, an artist who wants to work, but um, he's not allowed to support his family. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was to encourage him and to do a collaboration project where um, the profits from this collection can go and sponsor um, maybe an arts program for his kids or um, just to encourage him and say that, hey, you're not alone. Um, we're walking beside you, even though we can't help the legal situation we can invite mm -hmm. you to feel like you're part of this community that you are not rejected but that you are um, our neighbor and that we care about you mm -hmm. started to do these collaboration cards that went directly to sponsor actually um, the schools and the education for um, children of refugee and asylum seeker through um, VCSL's Keeping Kids in Kindergarten program. There's one in Jordan uh, called Breakthrough. Hopefully by the end of summer, you can also order them online. Check them out on our website, which is barefootloveco.com. Well, we're here to talk about a special um, project of mine and um, how Shutter Alliance is getting involved in something that I'm very excited about. We're going to be doing a photography workshop. You know, that we're going to be doing is teaching some of the older kids from that program um, just uh, skills and techniques about photography, as well as exploring Hong Kong and really using ca uh, the camera for them to express um, who they are and their, their perspective and their point of view.
we're hoping to start like a long-term partnership that you know it's great to volunteer and it's great to do um, you know um, give cameras or to do that kind of charity but I think it's more meaningful that we build a relationship mm -hmm. with the kids that it's not a one-time thing that hopefully in the future we can continue to um, build a friendship maybe become mentors for them to realize that you know even if they are stuck in Hong Kong or mm -hmm. waiting that their, their life is not waiting that mm -hmm. um, life continues and that people do care and people do want to help in the way that they can and um, I'm hoping through this this is like a way that we can teach kids about photography but also to really build that mentorship relationship as a teacher it makes me really excited because I think you know once someone knows a new skill or knows mm -hmm. a new subject nobody can take that away from them and mm -hmm. with kids you're almost like just planting these seeds and you want them you know to blossom and grow and and by this workshop that's what we're doing you know i'm really excited that you guys are willing to participate and i think it's going to be you know a lot of fun i think it's really exciting that um we're using film because then you know the kids are really used to um, digital photography but mm -hmm. with film um, they'll be able to like instantly see what they've done and then we as photographers can give them good feedback and they can maybe even like give it to their friends that kind of thing so it will be a very good like conversation starter but also um, for them to, to spread like maybe their love of photography after that day.